Hello! In this video, I will go over how to set up a connection to PAX in PMRI. Let's get started. Click anywhere on the intro screen to go to the local studies page. To set up a network connection, we need to navigate to the DICOM networking page. This is accomplished by going to the Views menu and selecting DICOM networking, pressing Ctrl and 2 on the keyboard, or clicking this button. First, let's take a look at our local server settings. We have our AE title, IP address, and port. The AE title should have no spaces or special characters and be recognizable since it will be used by others to identify our computer. For this example, let's call it PMRI underscore demo. Next, we have our IP address. This cannot be changed. Finally, we have our port. For this example, we will use port 104. Note, the settings are changed immediately and the program does not need to be restarted for them to take effect. Now, let's add a server that we want to connect to. At work, I would be connecting to the main hospital PAX server, but for this demonstration, let's use an online public server instead. You can find more information about this server by visiting the following website. Let's fill in the required information. The name is something I will choose for my own reference, and unlike the AE title, it will only be visible to me. Here I will call it Test Public Server. Next, we have the AE title, IP address, and port. Normally, all three will be given to you by your PAX department. In our case, since this is a test server, the AE title should match our local AE title, while the IP address and port are specified on the server's website. Let's double click to fill those in. Press enter when done. Now that everything is set up, let's test the connection by clicking the test button next to the server settings we just entered. We should see a success message almost right away. If you do not see this message, double check that you entered all of the information correctly and that no firewalls are blocking your connection. Normally, this is the point at which we would email our PAX department and ask them to give our computer access to be able to search and download from the server. However, since we're connecting to a public server, this step is skipped. Now let's do a couple of searches. We start by selecting the server we wish to query. Then we enter some search criteria and hit search. Here is every study on this server since the beginning of this year. Normally, you want your searches to be much narrower when querying a production server. When the results come up, clicking on a study displays the series in that study. Now let's search for every MRI ever. You should definitely not do a search like this on a real server. Once the search results are displayed, let's select a couple of studies and transfer them to our own machine by right-clicking on them and selecting Transfer. You should see some notifications in the log table. You can right-click on them and select View Log for more details. This can be useful if you forgot if you transferred a study or not. If you get an error message at this stage, it is possible that your computer's AE title, IP address, and port were not added to the list of allowed connections by PAX or a firewall setting is blocking the connection. In my case, I had to allow PMRI through the Windows firewall, as can be seen here, as well as set up a port forward on my router, as can be seen here. Your particular settings may be different, and you should consult your PAX specialist. Once we see the received files message in the log, the files have finished transferring to our computer. Let's navigate back to the local studies page by going to the views menu and selecting local studies, pressing Ctrl and 1 on the keyboard or clicking this button. Here we can see the studies that came over. Let's quickly add a new series to one of these and send it back to the server simulating sending some post-processed results. I will do a dummy region growing so I have some screenshots to send. This will be covered in more detail in another video.
Now we have our newly generated series of post-processed results. Let's send it back to the public test server. Right-click on the series, transfer, and pick the server. This is where having a good name for the server comes in useful. Don't forget to visit parametricmri.com for more information or send me any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching.